Hello Internet and welcome to some more Basel Stadium Live. Uh, we've got one more video with um, a team submitted by one of my patrons here. Um, this patron is a fan of uh, Lycan Rock Dusk. So um, we've been messing around a little bit with this team. Um, I'm also wearing my clothing, uh, which is a uh, rock rough coloured. Um, not that, that really matters, but um, made me think of rock rough for some reason, since uh, we're going to be using Lycan Rock. But anyway, enough of, uh, enough of my clothing aside. Um, it's it's quite an offensive team, this. Um, with the Pikachu, could be interesting. But yeah, I do quite like Lycanroc. It's, it's got a strange niche, because there's not many fast rock Pokemon in this format. You know, there's Colossal, I suppose, after a, um, after a, um, a, a dowsing of water. Um, Steam Engine Boost, that's the one. Um, but like, there's no Aerodactyl. You know, there's like, there's Terrakion, that's like the fastest fastest <laughs> this does not look like a game for rock rock at all for a lichen rock at all um but yeah there's not many fast fast rocks in the format besides terrakion i suppose and lichen rock is faster uh, lichen rock did get close combat as well too which is a pretty good boost for it um i mean yeah lichen rock can do something here i mean they have got the volcarona after all but um it is threatened by the rillaboom obviously and and the um the water mode that they've got there the rain mode so how do we want to go about this? Do we want to call their bluff and think you're not going to lead with um, with your rain mode? So uh, yeah, we've got a cell rock on this Lycan rock, the priority rock attack. Uh, I've got ice shard on this Intellion here. Uh, we put um, Volt Switch on this Pikachu. It's a physical Pikachu, but uh, we've got Volt Switch on it. So we've got three ways to activate the weakness policy on the Braviary here as well too. So um, I'm hoping that that can do some damage and. Actually, like, in, if I was being sensible, it looks like Braviary would be the way to go here, doesn't it? Um, we've got Pikachu to protect it from the Raichu, super effective against that and that. Um, bulky enough to take a hit from the Kingdra, I guess. Um, so, yeah, okay. Let's lead with Braviary and like Rock. And let's have Pikachu in the back and Whimsicott in the back. This is... Uh, an interesting configuration, but I'm gonna say you are not gonna lead with Politoed and Kingdra. Because obviously that's the uh, that's the, the obvious lead for you. You put it in slots one and two on your team, so I'm not going to lead something that's weak to Politoed and Kingdra, am I? Well, there you go. Um and look at this blue shiny uh lichen rock. I've got, I've got, I should not have mentioned Rockruff on my clothing there. I've got Rockruff on the head now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be calling this Rockruff, even though it's a lichen rock. We can see it's a lichen rock. Um, but, yeah, okay. So, I am slightly fearing him going for, like, a, uh, a fake out and an iron head into the lichen rock. That would be quite disappointing. Um, but, at the same time, um, I mean, we can we can just plow through things, can't we, with this bravery in theory. Um what have we got? We've got the Pikachu, which can hit the um, the uh, the Corviknight there. So, okay, I'm going to Dynamax, and I'm going to go for a Max Airstream here. Because two Max Airstreams and... Well, actually, yeah, maybe not. Maybe, maybe we need three Max Airstreams, and we'll be faster than um, Kingdra in rain. But if there's no Fake Out here... Okay. Something's going to be taking a plus two Max Airstream. Politoed might not survive this. Um, yeah, okay. Lycanroc, it's going to do a lot of damage to our own bravery here, <laughs> but um, this could be this could be decent. This could be decent. Another thing I do like about fast rock Pokemon is that obviously there's always a flinch chance, isn't there? Um, but you got to expect he is going to be Dynamaxing his, his Corviknight at some point in this battle. And that is one thing I do have to worry about. But well, yeah, there's the Acelerock. Don't do too damage. Too much damage. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a lot of damage. But there's the weakness policy. Now we're going to be, you know, plus two, plus two, plus one after this airstream boost. Um, but what is this Corviknight going to do? Is it just going to Iron Head or is it going to try and bulk up here? Yeah, this Pori got this um other one. Uh, Politoed is uh, is not going to survive that. But I mean, I guess now I've potentially given him a free switch into his uh, into his Kingdra. Oh, and an Iron Defense. That's maybe not so good for us, because Pikachu is really the only way that we can touch this thing. If he does bring in his Kingdra now, 
Uh, I can max guard and rock two the uh, the Kingdra. Oh no, it's it's just the Raichu. Okay. So he will have the um, focus sash. I am imagining on this uh, on this Raichu. Interesting that he brought in the Raichu there. Maybe he hasn't brought he hasn't brought King Jurassic because he's got a blooming Rillaboom in the back. Okay. So let's max Knuckle this Raichu to get to because I'm imagining that there is a, a sash there, um, and I don't. Oh, maybe I could max Strike it because then that would lower my speed back to neutral and put me at plus two. Um, an extra like plus four attack, and I'm gonna go into into Pikachu here. I think it works like that. I think it works like that. So the Pikachu, the, the Raichu, their Raichu will be at minus one speed. Their Corviknight will still be at neutral speed, but my Corviknight is now at plus one speed. Will get reduced back to neutral speed. So we'll still be faster than their Raichu, and hopefully still faster than their Corviknight. Yeah, I think we're seeing we'll still be faster than their Corviknight. So, let's see how this plays out. Um, he's at plus two defense. We do really need to keep this Pikachu safe. So, obviously, I brought in the Pikachu here, uh, fearing, uh, you know, a nuzzle, you know, some kind of electric attack. Is that the Sash? Yep, there's a Sash. Okay, so this is why I brought in the Pikachu. And, yeah, here's the mirror armor. Does this activate? I defined it does. There we go. So, yeah, who who wants to, you know, max duck on and get a plus one when you can when you can <laughs> get a plus two <laughs> from your own defiance? <laughs> there you go. And a plus one special attack that we didn't really need. Uh, Seal Spike is probably into the poor Pikachu, though. But we do survive, thankfully. Okay, good. So, their Pikachu is at minus one speed. My Bravier is at neutral, so I should still be faster there. The question is, um, I think yes, I do. I do airstream into the uh, into the Pikachu here because that covers a switch into um, the Rillaboom, and I don't really need an extra plus one from the other fist um, because I have a plus four attack now. Um, but the question is, do I just Volt Tackle here with the Pikachu, or do I wait until it's not Dynamax? I think the smarter move is to save the Pikachu. Um, and bring, what has this Whimsicott got? Oh, it says right there, doesn't it? Um, and bring bring something else in to just preserve the uh, the Pikachu. Yeah, I think I'm going to bring the Whimsicott in because this, this is probably going to be a Steel Spike into the Pikachu slot or an Airstream into the Pikachu slot. And um, I don't really need Whimsicott here. So yeah, Braviary is now plus one speed against a plus four. Um, plus four, plus two, plus one. And this Corviknight um, could just be going for a Steel Spike into the Bravery, but I mean, we have still got a decent amount of HP on this Bravery. Steel Spike into the Whimsicott. Yeah, okay, good. So, um, sorry Whimsicott, but it just wasn't really doing a whole lot there. But now, mm, now we're in a little bit of a, a tricky position. Um, or are we? Because I think I have to bring Lycanroc in, don't I? He can take out my Lycanroc, he can Grassy Glide the Lycanroc. But he can't stop... He, he can't stop my, my Braviary. He could fake me out, but I've got Protect. He can't stop my Braviary um, next turn. From hmm, if he airstreams here, I am still going to be faster, aren't I? Because he is, yeah, he is neutral speed and I'm plus one speed, so I think I am safe to just protect here. And um, Lycan Rock, I guess it doesn't really matter what we do with Lycan Rock. So. I'll just close combat. We've got the sash. Doesn't really matter what Lycanroc does here, I don't think. I mean, Lycanroc did the business turn one by uh, uh, by going for the Acceleroc, by activate, activating our own weakness policy there. Fake out, yeah. Close combat. 
do a decent amount of damage. It's actually two at KO. Uh, maybe not with the grassy terrain booster. But one thing I do have to worry about though is if um, the damage through protect here. Oh, he's not. He's not doing it through protect. Nice. Um, I was gonna say if the damage through protect here puts me in range of like a grassy glide. I don't think it would, but I mean that was the the utter worst case scenario. But the problem is now he is he is very 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 defensive on this Corviknight. So let's see what we do here then. Um, hmm. So yeah, I think I have to Brave Bird into the uh, yeah, into the Rillaboom because we can't let him Grassy Glide the uh, the Pikachu. So we have to take the knockout on this this turn. Um, both of these would knock it out since we are at plus four, but which is going to let him do more damage to me. The Brave Bird recoil and his attack, or me being a minus defense and his attack. Probably, probably the Brave Bird, I imagine. So I'm just going to do that, and I'm going to Rock Slide this turn, because I can always flinch the Corviknight. This is the good thing about fast Rock Pokemon. Grassy Glide, if he does that into the Lycrimite, that's fine. Lycrimite wasn't really doing a whole lot. Um, but now, it might all be down to Pikachu. This might all be down to Pikachu. So there you go, plus four, Brave Bird, into... Uh, that was pretty smart, that wasn't it? I never even thought about that before. Um, going for the... Oh, it's Body Brass, that's definitely going to knock me out. Oh, and I don't think poor Pikachu is going to be able to take the knockout here, unfortunately. Um, well, we had... Yeah, it was a pretty cool game. But, um, yeah, I, I guess... Um, was there anything I could have done differently? I mean, obviously, there was lots of things I could have done differently there, but... Um, but, um, who, um, like, I did have the chance to, uh, Vault Tackle this Corvin, like, when it was Dynamaxed, uh, when it didn't have quite so many defense boosts. Um, it is at plus five now, so it is going to take this attack. Um, hmm. But would that have worked out for us if we'd gone for, a, like, a, a Max Knuckle and a, um, and a Vault Tackle into this Corviknight when it was Dynamaxed? But not quite so many boosts. Uh, would that have worked out any better for us? I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to fake out for the chip damage. For the chip damage. There we go. This might put it a little bit closer to uh, to, to Vault Tackle range. <laughs> but um, yeah, we just we just got to Vault Tackle here. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if it survives, we might even knock ourselves out to the recoil. But if we don't knock ourselves out to the recoil, there is the paralysis chance. There is a critical hit chance. Um, things can happen. Come on, Pikachu, be strong. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> well, we definitely don't knock ourselves out to the recoil. We don't get the paralysis, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Pikachu, I was expecting a little bit more than that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, okay. We've been, we've been undone by a Corviknight, but, I mean, I mean, it, it might have been a little bit too risky to go with, um, a Cinderace. He did have rain, but, again, I led with like a rock and he had rain. Uh, but Lycanroc could have still done something, um, you know, in the face of rain where uh, I activated my weakness policy, where the Cinderace wouldn't really. So, um, yeah, okay, pretty cool game, but uh, I guess we couldn't really get around the uh, the Corviknight there. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, pretty cool game because we did get to activate our own Defiant, which is something you don't normally get to do. But, uh, and Lycanroc did do something as well, but, uh, yeah, I, I mean... Keeping Lycanroc around, we couldn't have done that without a Protect on it. We couldn't swap Pikachu into, um, you know, Grassy Glide as well. Um, otherwise, I mean, maybe that would have been the better option, actually, you know, odds-wise. Um, sacrificing the Pikachu to a Grassy Glide, get the Lycanroc back in, and then Rock Slide, Rock Slide, Rock Slide, flinch, flinch, flinch. Um, no, that wouldn't have worked, would it? But anyway, this guy's got a, uh, a Sand Team. Um, hmm... A sandy, sand, sandy, sandy, sand, sand team. Um, okay, well, I think we're going to have to go with Tailwind. Yes, I clearly had to say sand so many times. Uh, my uh, my background just starting to uh, envelop me there as well. So, yeah, I think we've got to go with one we've got here, Tailwind. But, uh, I mean, Lycan Rock is pretty good against sand in Tailwind, since we have got close combat, so we are super effective against both of them. Um, Intellion as well too, could get the rain up. 
But the Intimidate isn't so great. I mean, Bravery looks alright, but not really. Um, Cinderace again looks alright, but not really. Um, okay, I think I'm going to go with Intellion, since we have got Ice Beam on this, and he has got the Immungus. Lycanroc is going to come here, and so is Cinderace, I think. Uh, these can all do work in Trick Room, in, in Tailwind. I'm literally losing my ability to talk, aren't I? The amount of times I'd say the wrong Pokemon, or, or the wrong words, or or something. But anyway, hopefully we can we can pull a win out of our uh, hats here. Okay. That's an Excadrill and a Togekiss. The Radiant and the Tower Master. Oh, I've got a very Radiant Pokemon here. Oh, it's Mold Breaker. That makes the game a lot easier then. Um, because we don't necessarily need our Tailwind now, but I guess we still will go for it. And uh, another question is, is he going to Dynamax? Is it a, a weakness policy? On the, uh, to I mean, on either, I suppose, is a, is a pretty good question. Um, because we can Snipeshot around to follow me. Which one might be one of Dyna? I mean, Lycanroc looks pretty good here, doesn't it? Kind of. So, I'm, yeah, I'm going to Ice Beam the... Uh, the... Um, Togekiss here. Okay, maybe he's fearing a snipe shot. That's an Amoongus. Yes, I remember. Japanese characters. He's, he's going to be the wrong weakness for us, isn't he? I'm not the wrong one, obviously, because it's going to work out for him, but um, <laughs> I thought he, out of the two of those, I thought it would be weakness policy on the uh, on the Excadrill. So, yeah, he's bringing in his, his Amoongus on the uh, on the snipe shot, presumed snipe shot, um, and he's going to be airstreaming. He's going to be doing something here. Something that my Pokemon are not going to appreciate. Let's see how much damage this Ice Beam does then. Not much. No weakness policy at least. Could be Scope Lens then. Could Critical Hitters. Um, mm. Yeah, Grim's got the Copenberry does not help it survive there. Oh, and it is a Critical Hit. Yeah, I think without the Critical Hit he would have survived that. But... Um, at the same time, we've got the Tailwind up with Whimscott. Maybe it's a good thing that it's gone down. Now, the problem is I don't want him to get too many speed boosts here. Um, hmm. Yeah, this could be tricky. Uh, I could put in Cinderace. But the Amoongus can redirect you know, anything from the uh, from the Intellion there. But it's Mike Sean. Um... But will an Ice Beam and Rock Slide knock out the Amoongus? Hmm. If we go into Cinderace, we could go for the Steel move. I'm going to go into Lycanroc here. The Lively. Hmm. Lycanroc the Lively. And it's Blue Shining Coat. I'm going to Ice Beam. And I'm just wondering if... Um, I rock slide here, or if I dynamax the lichen rock here, just to ensure I get the knockout on the uh, on the uh, the Amoongus there, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to double into this Amoongus. and hope it doesn't protect. Okay. Um, like, it, it, it's, it's quite obvious for him protect, to, to protect here, but if I, um, like, double into the, into the Togekiss, or if I, um, look at this big, fluffy rock dog, um, with scary eyes, uh, yeah, but if, if I don't double into the Amoongus, it will survive, and, oh, yes, 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 it will survive, and get a spore off. Oh, come on, Lycanroc. I thought Ice Beam was going to do a lot more than that. It's not going to knock it out, is it? Oh, come on, Lycanroc. I need you to be very strong here, Lycanroc. I think it's knocked it out. I think it's knocked it out. Yes! <laughs> yes, Lycanroc. Yes! And we know it's um, Mold Breaker, Excadrill, and not Sandbrush as well. 
So um, it doesn't really matter that we got the sand. In fact, it's good for us because we get um, more special defense on this lightning rock. So this is the Excadrill coming back out. Um, if it's if it's weakness policy, I think a snipe shot will one shot it. And if it's focus sash, it's not going to be threatening that much. So now I'm going to go for a rock fall into into the. Um, Maybe I should double into the uh, into the um, Excadrill actually, because if it is Sash, I mean I, I we're Sash on Lightning Rock as well. But if it is Sash, it could. Um, which is going to be tricky. Um, it could bring a Lightning Rock down to the Sash, and then the Togekiss knocks it out as well. Because like, I don't think a, a Rock Fall knocks the um, the Togekiss out from there. Let's see. Okay. In fact, I should have gone for a snipe. Oh, that's a stupid move by me, isn't it? I should have gone for a snipe shot and a rock fall into the Excadrill because, just in case it isn't Focus Sash, um, we'll uh, you know get this rock fall into the Toga Kiss. Um, the the good thing is uh, we have got a Focus Sash on the um, on the Lycan Rock here, so if he does critical hit us with a Star Fall or whatever. Um, we will survive, and we are at plus one attack now as well. Oh, and he just does that into the Intellion, which is okay, because I think Lycanroc is the bigger issue here for him here. For him here. Here. Here for him. For him right now. Currently. As it happens. As it is happening. Um, but yeah, I think this is our last turn of Tailwind now. And he is... Is it plus three speed? Hmm. That is a Dragapult. Okay. We're good if we had Sucker Punch on this uh, on this Cinder Race now, but I don't think we do. Um, no, it's only plus two speed. Okay. And we are we've got one more turn of Tailwind. Okay. So because I'm gonna guess that's maybe a Scope Lens on his Togekiss. Maybe it doesn't have Protect. I could get a uh, a safe knockout there. I'm just gonna have a. A look at the moves on Cinderace as well. Yeah, we haven't really got anything that can hit this. Um, this. Um, I think we're still okay, but I think I'm just going to go because I think it's pretty much a guaranteed knockout on the Togekiss. I don't think it'll have protect because it max guarded. I mean, it, it might. You never know. But I'm just going to go for an Iron Head into this um, um, Dragapult as well too. Okay. Because um, there's a flinch chance it'll still do a, a good amount of damage. That's a good amount of damage. And, yeah, assuming this Rockfall does one-shot the Togekiss, which is going to do from here, because we uh, we max-knuckled into it last turn, um, I'm, I think we're okay here. I'm pretty sure we're fine, because, yeah, this is our last turn of Tailwind, but uh, we have got a Focus Sash on the Lycan Rock. So, yeah, he's Draco Meteoring the, uh, the Cinderace. Assuming this knocks it out, which it doesn't because we're now a Steel-type, yeah, so it's not going to miss it. Um, we're okay. Yeah, we're looking good. Lycanroc doing business for us. I like this Lycanroc. It's a nice one. In the first game, the Assault Rock worked out. Um, and in this game, who expects a Dynamax Lycanroc? Not my opponent. Uh, and now, actually, we can just go for the Assault Rock, can't we? Haha, -ha, there's no psychic terrain. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter what we do here. Plus one Assault Rock with the Tough Claws boost is actually going to do a lot of damage. You know, that would. At a guess, you know, plus one, plus one, yeah, with tough claws boost, the cell rock would probably do sixty percent or so to a a, a dragapult normally. I'm gonna guess. So there you go. That's lichen rock doing some business for you. I'm happy with that. So thank you very much for watching this, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, you know, obviously I don't want to go on too much about the Patreon because uh, you know if you're not signed up and, and have no intention to or can't or whatever. Then I know it's going to be annoying if we do keep going on about it. But I'll just mention one more time. You know, if you want to join up, we've got a brilliant group of people in the Discord. Um, you know, if you want to, you know, suggest some teams for me to use on this as well too, then that's one of the perks. So it's there if you want. But um, if not, no pressure. You know, no obligation, whatever. Thank you very much for watching. As long as you've enjoyed this, that is the most important thing. So thank you very much, and I will see you uh, in the next episode, which I think will probably be next week at this point. Um, either way, goodbye for now.